Urpillay, San Foliay, Huelta Panaycuna, aunque hay Sumaj, Unchay, aunque hay Hatun Yastapi, Machu Pichupi, Napaycuinquis. Queridos hermanos, hermanas, desde este lugar de poder, llamado ahora Machu Picchu, quiero expresar mis saludos como guardián espiritual de este centro Machu Picchu. Un saludo desde este lugar hacia las cuatro direcciones del mundo y a todas las dimensiones a todos los seres del cielo, de la naturaleza, a mis hermanos y a mis hermanas. En estos tiempos extraordinarios, maravillosos, queremos compartir algunos mensajes eh, en favor al crecimiento, al despertar, de cada uno de los hombres y mujeres aquí en la tierra, de los niños, de los ancianos, de todos. Y especialmente también de esta naturaleza sagrada, de la vida, de las energías y todo lo que está con nosotros. También queremos centrar estos mensajes en tres aspectos fundamentales, en tres dimensiones. Es la dimensión de lo sagrado, la dimensión de la naturaleza y la dimensión del hombre, del ser humano. En estos momentos extraordinarios de cambio y de transformación, creo que es muy importante comenzar respecto al hombre, a la humanidad. Estas circunstancias, este momento, nos abre el camino para poder eh, orientar la vida del hombre hacia una nueva humanidad, porque hay grandes condiciones para poder comenzar a caminar de otra manera y no entrar a ese lenguaje común, no entrar a esa historia que está pasando, sino comenzar a sentir el presente comenzar a sentir el momento, comenzar a juntar lo que es el tiempo y el espacio, el espacio y el tiempo que se traduce en el presente. Y de tal manera podamos construir con fuerza y con energía esa orientación para abrir la puerta de nuestro de nuestra autoconciencia, no de la conciencia en común, porque la conciencia en común cualquiera puede practicar, pero nosotros como practicantes espirituales tenemos que ir un poco más allá. Nuestra autoconciencia, cómo hacer crecer, cómo eh, volver a caminar, cómo despertar de nuevo ese esas propiedades que cada uno de nosotros tenemos, ¿no? Entonces, el camino espiritual, la práctica espiritual, eh, nos permite, hablando un poco así, resetearnos, nos permite eh, restaurarnos, como todo en la vida, se restaura, se mueve, el ser humano también tiene que restaurarse tiene que tomar conciencia para enfrentar a un tiempo tan diferente en el presente, en el momento, en el ahora. 
en quechua nosotros llamamos cunam, cunam, cunam puncha. Taipi, taipi significa aquí, en el momento. Porque el pasado y el futuro prácticamente son como, hay que construir, son ilusiones. Entonces no, no podamos meternos, sino desde donde estamos comenzar a organizar nuestra vida para que sea más fácil y así nosotros podamos ser un espejo. Nosotros podemos ser una ayuda, pero primero tenemos que fortalecernos nosotros. Primero nosotros. Para así, con esa fuerza, con esa energía, poder salir. Y si no salimos, nuestra propia vibración, nuestra propia energía va a reflejar y va a invitar a otros seres a que se nos acerquen, estén junto con nosotros. Entonces, eh, seguramente física, materialmente, es difícil porque no estuvimos preparados para estos acontecimientos. Hemos vivido muy cómodos durante mucho tiempo, no es mucho tiempo, será pues unos 50, 70 años, hemos vivido cómodos, con algunos golpes fuertes en diferentes partes de la Tierra. Entonces, esta crisis del sistema nos lleva, también nos invita a ubicarnos y este, comenzar a construir una base, un fundamento de otra naturaleza, apoyado con la fuerza del gran espíritu y de la divinidad, que vamos a hablar posteriormente. Entonces, Queridos hermanos, hermanas, bajo cualquier circunstancia que estemos atravesando, ahorita lo importante es comenzar a fundamentar, es comenzar a fortalecer nuestra integridad desde la mente, desde el corazón, desde las energías, etc. Para poder eh, de nuevo caminar. Entonces, queridos hermanos, hermanas y seres de todas las dimensiones, eh, es muy importante también eh, buscar o no, llegar a los espacios sagrados, para recibir la ayuda eh, con la fuerza, la energía, la vibración de esos lugares y poder eh, calmar toda nuestra integridad. Hay mucha, mucha energía pesada, contaminación, etc. Entonces es necesario también retirarnos a pequeños procesos de prácticas de meditación en todas, las, en todas las técnicas, conocimientos que cada uno tiene. Eh, nosotros desde este lugar de Machu Picchu también hemos sentido que en este proceso de prueba que nos han puesto con esta situación que todo el mundo conocemos en el mundo, es una prueba no sé si será verdad o cierto, pero el problema está ahí, nos ha movido a todos. Entonces, eh, desde una modesta recomendación, eh, decimos que tenemos que separar espacios en nuestras vidas, eh, ya sea en la mañana, en la noche, para dar un tiempo específico para cada uno de nosotros un tiempo donde podamos llamar a la tranquilidad, podamos eh, dejar todo lo que hemos hecho durante el día o en las mañanas, eh, fortalecerse con una pequeña meditación, la mente, el corazón, 
y todo integridad para comenzar un nuevo día. Y justamente si uno no está, no tiene condiciones para ir a la naturaleza o a la montaña, entonces eh, puedes preparar un espacio en tu hogar, en tu casa, para ahí a través de tus cantos, sonidos o el silencio puedas seguir eh, purificando todos los aspectos propios eh, necesarios para de, caminar. Entonces, eh, desde Machu Picchu, eh, aquí prácticamente tenemos una, una gran, un gran regalo, que es la paz, la tranquilidad, es el diálogo con la naturaleza, el lenguaje de los ancestros, el lenguaje de los apus, de las montañas, de las plantas, del agua, del, el, el sol, la luz, los tenemos múltiples, igual en vuestros sitios, mis queridos hermanos, tenemos múltiples, múltiples herramientas ¿no? que están, están ca casi en nuestras manos, entonces, esos, esas cosas simples hay que comenzar a usar para restaurarnos, para resetearnos y ver de otra manera esta situación eh, de cambio, ¿no? para que entendamos que el, los cambios siempre eh, nos traen eh, este, transformaciones, nos traen cosas nuevas. ¿no? Entonces, eso sería en el aspecto humano, ¿no? Ahora, quisiera entrar al aspecto de la naturaleza, ¿no? Que es una... es otra parte de la dimensión de la naturaleza. Uh, I, want to, I want to share this uh, incredible part of the medicine with a grandfather, Wachuma. My first uh, connection to start this medicine is with a uh, master... Agustín Guzmán, he is from the, from the north, and I am the helper of him a long time. And uh, usually we was visit one an unbelievable place. The name is Winya Iguana. It's close to Machu Picchu, two hours outside of Machu Picchu, between the Inca Trail. There is a small lodge, we are right there in the night. We visit the powerful place, Wuni Iguaina, to drink or to work with a grandfather. Like this, many years I work. Um, finally, I have one nice experience with a medicine in one ceremony. Uh, during the night, it's beautiful, I help the customers, brother, sister, but it, almost before to arrive the light, there's a pile of the stones in, in front of me. On the middle of, of that rocks, I saw one, like a sparkle, one red light. When I open and close my eyes, I think, but not feel it yet, but I think, Maybe it's my vision of the medicine. But two, try, two times, three times, I open and close my eyes. When I again see, I start to feel one energy, red, like a power, is start to grow, start to open. And again, I, again I close and open close and open my eyes, I saw the horizon start come the light of the sun that is on the sky is like a fire, red fire. Oh my God. Again, I check the, the that light, red, it's more intensive. I scared because I don't know Never in my life I have that experiences. 
uh, I like to finish that. I say, oh, thanks, okay. And in that moment when I determinate to say thanks, disappear. Me, quiet, I don't like to speak nothing. But sometimes when I come back, when we come back from that powerful place of women going up to Machu Picchu, uh, I want to speak with the teacher, with Don Agustin Guzman. Or something say me, no yet, no yet, no yet. Finally, we arrive to Machu Picchu to hear, and I ask a Don Agustin, can I drink myself in medicine? She say me, of course, no problem. Oh, thank you. Next time when I come back, I bring to you specifically one gallon of grandfather medicine. Oh, thank you, yeah. When he come back, he come back with a gift and he give me this gallon of, of what you need. This is for you and if when, when you like, drink yourself. I drink, I drink in Machu Picchu, in the valley, close to the river, like this. Finally, it's finished. When he come back again, I say, can I make my wachuma? Can, can you show me how to make wachuma? He said me, okay, yes, why not? Do that, in, that like this, okay, thanks. Yeah, I, I prepare my own wachuma, like this. So gradually on the time is the last question. I say, can I, I, can I invite other people? Yes, of course. If you want, he said me. Oh, thank you, Master. From that moment, I start to walk with a medicine in Machu Picchu, like a walking meditation, and I invite Wachuma medicine. That is Wachuma medicine. After a long time ago, sorry, after a long time, I uh, I want to drink the grandmother, but uh, this is incredible. I wait almost 10 years to drink grandmother. It's coming bottles, invitations, friends with ayahuasca. No yet, no yet, I say. 10 years. Finally, arrived one master from the Amazon. He invited me to his center. No? And from that moment, I start to drink grandmother. Because uh, I have the license of the spirit of this place, Machu Picchu, to work with the two medicines. Grandmother and grandfather is in my two hands. No problem. No? Because now I walk with that two medicine. You know, here we have nice, extraordinary, beautiful place like Amazon with the mountains. And so we have that great option to use grandfather and grandmother. No? It's so amazing, this place for the both medicine. Between the people, between the people, they say, if you like to drink uh, Wachuma, go to Machu Picchu with uh, Juan de Dios Cuch. Some people come from the Amazon after the diet, yes? Because they come straight to here to drink wachuma for the balance. It's extraordinary. Or some people, they like to, no, they don't like to go to the Amazon, they come straight to here. We made, uh, we work diet, three days, seven days with a both plant. We have one camping area down in the valley of Machu Picchu to stay three days with the basic accommodations, no? uh, like uh, uh, stay close to the, to the animals, to the plant, to the mountains. It's on the base of the mountains, that place is so amazing. That high responsibility gives me the spirit of the sacred mountain Machu Picchu. Uh, I work approximately 25 years here, 25 years. And in, in that process of my life, in the first moment, uh, I received uh, the opening or like an initiation to work with this place. Because my main mission 
is in service, to service. And the people when they arrive here, yes, this is my first mission. To orientate in something. Not with my knowledge, not with uh, all different messages come from the nature to share with the people. I don't have here nothing. I don't like to, to keep nothing. No? I wait every day, like uh, with my prayer, with my meditation, with, with my discipline, uh, come the message from all different dimensions, from the sacred dimension, from the nature, or here, you know, people come. For the reason we made this project of the spiritual center in Tiwasi, to come to people and to stay here and to share and in reciprocity, you know, to work. Because my mission is the service of the humanity, of the spirit too, and the divine. And that's the nations. Before my 33 years, I am a very wild human person. Finally, I arrived here. I don't know why, too much how or why, but in exactly moment I arrived here. In my exactly moment of 33 years. And I have that option to work in Machu Picchu sanctuary, like a guardian of the tourism. In that moment, not tourism. It's coming 10, 15 persons per day. It's so unbelievable, Machu Picchu. It's so quiet, it's so peaceful. It's, the silence is so profound. The light, the energy is so unbelievable. But I don't know nothing about that. I am so, I don't know nothing about in that moment, about the spirit, about the energy, nothing. But it's too much for me. But I have one important moment when the spirit of Machu Picchu called me to come back in the night to Machu Picchu. I hear from one big rock, it's coming one sound straight to my earth and say me, you must come tonight to see the light of the blue, the full, no, the blue moon, the full moon blue. What? What is this? When I come back, it's so unbelievable. I have five days in Machu Picchu with many experiences. From that moment, I start my connection with that place. It's practically my initiation. And he gave me one orientation to, to organize my own altar. Yeah, my mesa, and the mesa. And say, that mesa is nice for you. It's for the spirit of this great place. Because the name of that mesa is Altar of Machu Picchu. Continue and looking for special cuyas of a special sacred stone exactly from this place. You can't believe me. I found meteorites stones for my mesa. Cuyas, beautiful color stones. In that moment, I start to make the, mm -hmm. the altar of Machu Picchu. Continue to work until now, no? Until now, we, yeah, we, we have um, yeah, nice, constant things coming, many things, um, beautiful, uh, not only experiences. I don't know how to say in English, uh, vivencias, you know? it's, My work is like a practical, like a life, you know? in vivo, alive. No, because no is the satisfaction, you know, it's, it's a little more profound. It's much like a, each moment, the life is in the present, the death is in the present, no? That is the sacred present with you 
in contact with that everything through. You know, this is how to feel alive this place. For the other reason, uh, before this Machu Picchu symbol of the peace, now I change Machu Picchu symbol of the life because everything is alive. Awaking constantly, change constantly, transformation constantly. And this moment is different than this other one. You know, I feel that. So I, I don't need to learn too much, you know. I like to live, I, I, you know, in relation to my age, the situation, in relation with the humanity, in relation with everything, you no? Know? It's happy. I like to, to feel. No more to construction, no more, the, no. No, I like to feel every moment, fraction, the seconds of the life when I have time, always I have time, no? When we are alive, so we have time. No, no, only separate, ah, this time is for my spiritual practice, no, all time. And to do everything with the two things. Everything very well with a love. Hacer bien las cosas y con amor. This is the orientation. Like ancestors. How the ancestors arrive in 500 years with that two instrument, with that two kit, kit, kiss, kiss, no? To do everything very well, not only for compromise, you know, with the consciousness and with a love. This is a two key, two keys, the ancestor use. And a right, not the perfect things, you know, good, solid, and for the time, for the space. Yes? In communion with the everything. When the person is alive, there is only one consciousness, your own consciousness. Yes? The other one is like a few. If you know, practice, or make, build your own, maybe the other one is coming from here. But your consciousness is with your integrity, with everything inside, outside. The communion with your center of your center. Because with that orientation, your center starts to grow gradually and expand it. After it's coming to your consciousness, other ones, but your own consciousness is very important. You're blooming like a flower gradually and a split to the other ones, to the nature, to the human, and to the divine. About the, the dimension of the nature, it's other part, but it's together, yes. But specifically, the dimension of the nature is so unbelievable to me. Why? Practically, is the, is the manifestation of the life. All of them. But the, the world, the dimension of the each one is so unbelievable. Which one? If we touch the water, the plant, the animals, the air. Anyway, which one we touch? For example, the plant. The, the dimension of the plant is like we. Each plant is a, is a human too. How to grow in relation to the time, the, or the space, on the ground, nutrients, communication. We come to see the communication between the plant, how, how is the communication? 
is from outside, from inside of it, no? Because it's in, unbelievable. But in one moment, when you're growing, you're awakening, your orientation of your life is good, it's coming automatically that communication with the dimension of the plant. That you, you have that great option to see the medicine, the spirit, the entity of the plant. No? You, you have that option, how is the connection with the underground? How is the connection with the heavens? How is the connection with all components of the nature, of the space, with the light, with the energy, vibration? You start, you must to start the connection in communion like other people with a plant. And if you find one plant in relation with you and they give to you your medicine, your protection, your orientation to how to work in communion with the nature either with a water, for example, no? Well, we see the water on the river, on the lake, and especially the rivers, no? It's constantly movement. And each moment is different. The water, no, it's the same. In one river, when run the water, it's different constantly. Because if you work with a sound, for example, of the water, the connection is much easier and call to you to pass into the, the dimension of the water, into the dimension of the people of the water, into the dimension of the center or the vortex of the water. It's like a, this construction is, is similar. It's dimensional, but similar. No? Because you must to, to stay in communion with that element, either with the wind, you know, with the fire, you know, with the animals. You, know, you have that connection, that orientation. But the, no, the, the first recommendation is we must to stay, start, start with your bodies, you know, with your mind, with your heart. You know? to stay stable, not too much to be working on, stable. In, in the life, only concentration and observation. Not touch nothing, just stay stable. And after that you say, please water, please plant, please spirit of the mountains. Yeah, naturally call to you which one, or one animal, you know? Yeah, it's like this coming to you. Because that is the connection, this is the shamanism, you no? Now people know shamanism. The dimension, connection with the dimension of the nature. It's only you must stay stable. Not be grow, be walking, be initiation, no stable and very happy in your heart, in your mind, in all consistence. With that is coming many things to you. You don't you don't have chance to say this, this, this now. Because naturally is coming to you. This is for you. Try. It's okay. Until one moment, not forever. No? Until one moment when you say, I like to jump to the other ones. No? When you finish this work in that dimension, yeah, that is the divinity. It's more superior, more secret, sacred. Sorry, sacred. But, but how to work with the divinity, with the divine things? to work with the thinking with the power how i learn 
about the divinity connection to carry all time with you. Not when you need or when you want, but to carry all time, to feel all time. This is the difference people believe, no? I believe in the God, no? Or when they, when we need, please, I need, great, help me, I want, I need them, no. Every moment you must carry with you at the divinity, stay, because everything is so delicate, all dimensions, and dimension of you too, is so delicate. So if we feel constantly that, it's coming the integration to understand we part of the everything, not everything is part of you. That, that is the difference. No? Because if we orientate like this, our ego scale, our ego flow. <laughs> no? No, it's, it's maybe like your shape will never come to you. And follow everything, angry, looking for one space in which moment you fell down, and this is coming the ego. But if you stay in attention and pay attention of your life constantly, you, you understand how incredible is the life. And finally, how incredible is your life. It's so two different things. One is the life, and the other one is your life. Tagalia. Tagalia. Yeah, so it's, it's very important you know, to, to see our life with the two eyes, with all different power, consciousness of each one. To stay in communion with everything. Not specifically to follow this, 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 no. No, we need to stay open. In one moment come, come exactly for you, which one is that tool, that instrument to orientate our life. Not specifically. Gondor, Puma, Apu, San, Pachamama, blah, blah, blah. No. When it's coming Pachamama for you, exactly Pachamama work for you. Maybe in that moment, the manifestation is the love. You need that, to love, to understand, to do something. Pachamama. Maybe the spirit of the world will come. Why come? To clean to help in your purification too, no? Stay much clear. Or come the Puma, no? Puma come for to wash out, walk, walk slowly like this. But no specifically, no? I believe in this, I need to follow, I need to learn, I, no. Open. Or stay in this time, in this moment. But knowing that's linear time, now it's time of the circular time. This is different. All people, humanity, now the orientation is here. With a wide time, tiempo lineal. But no, now it's circular time, which is different. Finish and start other cycle. Finish, start other cycle. To, re to receive, to reveal again everything. Or if you say, I am young, I am adult, I am old, goodbye. What is this? No. Each moment, today we made in your own life one circle. Next time, other circle, finish like this, and happy, and open, and people come to you. Nice. 
the spirit come, maybe it's different guy, this is different lady, yeah. no, it's different no? orientation. No? Because this is uh, so very important no? uh, to be free finally. Because the main message for the human is to be free, open, like a condor, like an eagle, like a wind, like a water, like a time, like a space, free. Finally, the most important in the life, in our life we have, is the freedom to be free. To learn, to understand, so, to understand many things. It's too much you have to learn. Never we, never we arrive to learn everything. Only to understand. Only to understand many things. In that moment, when we understand or arrive at that dimension of the freedom to be free, finally, finally, arrive the moment to start to touch your potential of your brain, of your feeling of your mind, of your thinking. And you start to explore how is the origin, how is the, the, the essence of the thinking. Not like this, this is not, you know. You back, are you thinking, what is, where is coming from that thinking? That you start to explore the dimension dimension of your own own. That is why we like to be free. Not to, to dance, to stay happy, no, no, no. Like in other school, no? Years and years work, no? To be in balance. Happy? Good? No. Rich people is happy. No? When we arrive to the balance, we need to jump to the other one more. One, two is a perfect balance, equilibrium, no? Jin yang. But after, shh, create. Three, create. Because if we live with that orientation, each moment, your brain, your mind, your thinking, it's dynamic. That is. If not, it's like a dead walking. You know? <laughs> every day, the same. You need to create every day. Create in your mind, in your heart, in your work, in your family, everything. Because when you're perfect balance, it's okay, no? But after that, what happened? What is the next one? In all different traditions, why this? This is number three. No? After? It's the creation is the best way. Not to believe nothing. No, create, create, open, open our life. Mm -hmm. Like this. Hallelujah.